hot. Not so hot. No what? Me, I eat chili. Oh no, it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Kutaisi in the Republic of Georgia. Today, I'm taking you to explore the Green Bazaar, the oldest and most authentic bazaar in the city. It's located right in the smack center of the old part of town. And here, what are you gonna see? Well, basically, it's vendors selling produce, right? So you got vegetables, you have fruits, you have local wine, honey, you got butchers, jewelry. It's like a mix between a flea market, you know, and like a farmer's market, right? So we're gonna go inside right now, we're gonna explore. I can't wait, I'm hungry. We might eat some kachapuri, have some chacha. I'm excited, let's do this. Tim. Yeah, so it's uh, early in the morning. Uh, it's just starting to open up, the Green Bazaar. It looks like the vendor, I saw some vendors carrying some products in already. So uh, hopefully it'll be good. We should get some fruits, vegetables, and maybe well, anything else. Yeah, so eight in the morning is when it starts to really become alive. We're gonna be here for like two, three hours exploring. Hello, my friend. Oh, look, so you got some. Plums, we got some oh, apples. Good, 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 good. good, 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 good. good, good. <laughs> he's, he's starting, right? He's starting. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, hello. Kuda. Oh. They love America, right? Oh, yeah. America good? Good, good, good. Oh. Kachapuri good, Kachapuri. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hey, hey! <laughs> Look at the size of that watermelon. Massive. What is that? Three kilo? No, four kilo. Four kilo, okay. This is called a teddy bear Pomeranian. I have the same one. Mine's like 18 years old. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> See you guys later, I'll see you later. Thank you. Maloba, Maloba, Maloba. <laughs> well, that was awesome. First vendor, mm -hmm. too friendly. Okay, so we have a few different lanes here. The main part's over here though, right? Yeah, it so it goes here, then there's another section out here, there's another section out here, there's more sections over there. So it's a quite a big bazaar, actually. And what do you have here? So this lady has a few different spices. You have some chilies, cardamom, what else? Delicious stuff. I mean, the smells here, look at this. This is spaghetti and salt. So spaghetti is a region in northern part of Georgia, and they mix some herbs with salt. Mm. Oh, so salty. Oh. oh, too much. Mm. Now I need water. So we've got different kinds of beans here. I don't really know the differences between all these beans, but like they have a different flavor and a different way of preparation. So almost like a burgundy red, right? And some white. What are these? No idea. No smell here. Thank you. <laughs> maglobat, maglobat. <laughs> and then across from this vendor, we have more fruit vendors. So we got tomatoes, eggplant, cucumbers, and this is what we're gonna see, right? So lots of fruit vendors here. Got some beans. She, she wants me to try more stuff. Oh my God. She wants to give us something? She wants to give us something. Maglobat didi. I think it's the, the salt that you tried earlier. She, she gave us uh, some as a present. Maglobat, maglobat. Thank you so much. We're gonna have it later. Me, Miami. So I've been to many markets throughout Ukraine, Armenia, and now in Georgia, and they all are very similar in, in terms of like covered market, you know, high ceilings, usually all the fruit and, you know, spice vendors are together, and then next level or next areas you have more like a flea market, right? So it's not really used clothes, that's all brand new clothes, right? Yeah, it could be, it could be used, it could be new, uh, it could be just knickknacks for around the house. Nice. Uh, yeah. And then, so it's like very yellow, right? So they painted it all yellow. And then at the very end over here, we have butchers. We have more butchers over there too. Yeah. I we've guess let's keep going. Yeah, we've got a section for cheese somewhere. We've got a section for dried fruits, a section for pickles. Right here is my favorite part. The chilies. Spicy, spicy, picante. Yeah? Maybe I'll have one later. Right now I'm good. That's the spring onions. You got lots of herbs, lettuce, uh, coriander as well. We got garlic. And these guys over here are cha-cha. They're drinking beer at 8.30 in the morning. A perfect way to start the day. Right now I'm okay. Beer now? No. Later. <laughs> Maybe some cha-cha. Cha-cha for sure. Here we have a medicinal herb, right? Don't know what it is. It looked like a big mushroom, but I've never seen that before. Behind it, <laughs> we have some wine, local wine. So if you want some wine right now, you can just buy it right here from them. This is all produced at their home. We have some more garlic, some onions, and you know, this is what it is, local life, right? You come in the morning, you get, you know, the freshest fruits and vegetables in the area. These, most of these people come from a little north of the Taisi and they bring it from the foothills, right, of the mountain. I'm really hungry. I need a kachapuri, some cheese, and maybe a cha-cha. That's the best way to start the morning, right? Flow. 
So I looked it up in the dictionary. This is called butcher's broom. And so she was explaining to me uh, that uh, the, it's good for all the different kinds of ailments. You can use it for like stomach problems, kidney problems, and uh, yeah, d different kinds of things you can prepare it. Now we're going up to the next section. Wow, so different, huh? It went from like old school, authentic, to like this huge hall. Cheese, okay, it's cheese. And over here we have a few of the butchers selling chicken. Dried fruits, so we got some nuts, uh, different spices. There's a pickle section around here somewhere as well. Yeah, this hall was just very recently redone, like maybe two years ago, like they repainted everything, like opened it up and yeah. Yeah, it looks very new, right? And super clean. I think we should try some cheese. Let's see, what do we got here? This is like a ricotta style, right? Oh yeah, so the, that's the naduhi, the ricotta style. Looks like they have a... That's like butter, no? This, this, this is pure butter. Pure butter. Well, what, what do you want to taste? This one right here. It's a naduhi. So this is cottage cheese. Mmm! Crumbling, so fresh, cold. Mmm! Like the ultimate paneer. Wow! Dude, I can eat that whole thing. <laughs> and over here, look at this. I think this is gonna be imeruli, like the local variety of cheese from this uh, from this region. Uh, it's fresh style, mozzarella style cheese, yeah. Imeruli. Mm. A little salty, nice and dense. A little bit of air pockets in there. This is fantastic. How much for a block of that? So one kilo is uh, 12 lari. So like however like big these these big blocks are gonna be, they look like they're like four or five kilos at least. So like maybe like 50 or 60 lari. I think that's like uh, 20 US dollars roughly, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Kachapuri? Kachapuri? Yeah, you can make good kachapuri out of it. Yeah. And she wants to show us something over here. More spices, right? Yeah, more spices. So she's got... This is my favorite. Oh, we <laughs> quite <laughs> It's hot. It's hot. This is the same salt that the other lady showed us, but um, always everybody has a, di has a different recipe for it. So the same thing, like spaghetti with salt, right? Spaghetti and salt again. Yep. Mm. This one's easier. Mm -hmm. It's not so salty. More herb, less salt. Mm. This mm. with like some chicken or some beef. Yeah. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. Which is this one? This one is a, is spicier. She said, if you like spicy, you'll like this one. Hot. Okay. Hot. Oh, that's it. The No, me, I eat chili. Oh no, it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it hit you now, hey. Cha-cha, oh. cha-cha. Oh. Cha-cha, that way. Yeah, that's no way. <laughs> so what did she say this was? She said it's peach vodka. Still from peaches. Oh, gosh. Oh, smooth. Mmm. Mm. Like, remember when you take it down? Yeah. You feel like... Oh, with air too, with oxygen? Yeah. I really like the peach vodka. It's, it's it's almost dangerously smooth. It's you know? too smooth. Yeah, it's probably like 50 something percent. <laughs> that's how you get the blood flow in the morning, right? Oh, that's a... oh when you're in Georgia, do you like the Georgians? No, 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 no. no. All right, I'm only gonna take a little sip of this one because this is straight up cognac brandy. Oh, this smells good though. <laughs> it's rocket fuel, dude. Here. It's even better cold, she says. Maglova. Maglova. She gave me more of the salt. Insane. We have two bags already of the salt. Maglova. Maglova. Thank you for showing Georgia. Thank you for showing Georgia to the world. Oh, these are churchelos, and so she says that she makes them herself, and uh, then we're invited to her place to, uh, to watch her make it. Don't know if we'll have time for that, but it sounds interesting. That is basically walnuts with uh, syrup or fruit juice thickened with uh, like corn flour or wheat flour. And you see like some of them have walnuts, some of them have hazelnuts, like the thin ones are hazelnuts. And these ones with two different colors, these are usually have dried fruit in the middle. A nice snack. They call it their version of Snickers. It's the best thing to take with you on a hike because it doesn't melt, it lasts forever. And I'm gonna grab a little walnut, I need it. Mm. This country is all about walnuts. And these are mushrooms, huh? What are these? Yeah, these are mushrooms. They look like the ordinary like champignon sort of mushrooms. In this region, they actually gather a lot of wild mushrooms. I haven't seen any yet, but maybe, maybe we'll run into them. How are you? So over here we have chicken, right? This is an entire section of chicken all cleaned out. You know, obviously they were killed today. Super fresh, probably the best chicken you will get in Georgia right here. Charm it, charm it. It's not cooked, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> 
wash it out, like uh, cook it up and enjoy it, she says. I've never seen this. This lady has like a little propane gas here and she gets a chicken and whatever's left like of the feathers, she just literally torches it. <laughs> this is great. We should get one of these chicken and make a feast later. Yeah, With some of that garlic creamy sauce. Exactly. So that's enough of the chicken ladies. Let's walk over over here and see the butcher. And they're having their morning cha-cha right there. <laughs> Incredible. Wow, look at that. Hello, hello. Got like four butchers here. So as people come, they tell them what they want. You know, cut this piece, cut that piece. This is how much they want in terms of weight. And that's it, right? Absolutely. Easy. Absolutely. This is what I love about this part of the world is that you get the freshest meat. It's not like going to a supermarket in America where it's been frozen for, you know, who knows how long. Exactly. From what farm it came from. This came from probably this guy's farm. And he brought it here today. Exactly, exactly. Or they have some contacts in the villages, like some neighbors, some cousins. They all bring their stuff together and they sell it here. So. This butcher right here is cutting up a cow leg. So he cuts it almost like a steak, right? Mm -hmm. And then he divides the toes. Yeah. Wow. Like, later on, they're going to use this to make kashi, which is like the sort of like a... Uh, uh, over soup made out of like either innards or like feet or like knees or something like this and mixed with like garlic. I haven't tried it, right? I don't think you've tried it yet. We gotta find that. Yeah. Sometime in this trip we have to find that. Whoa. <laughs> a spectacle, dude. I love this place. My favorite market so far in Georgia. Maloba. Maloba. All right, let's uh, check out Pickle World. The entire section of pickles. Wow. My favorite is this one, man. Right here. Tonjoli. Tonjoli. The best. Pickle the best. flowers. Pickle flowers. We got pickled chilies. What else? We got cabbages. Mm -hmm. We have garlic. Stuffed green tomatoes. Oh man. That looks that so good. Yeah. And you just eat like that? Straight, right? Yes, you can just eat it straight. Yeah. Exactly. I might have to buy one. <laughs> they're, they're delicious. Especially okay. after a shot of chacha. Yeah? <laughs> can, I, can I have one of these? Okay, so we're going to try a pickled tomato? Yeah, pickled green tomato. It's like it's stuffed with herbs and spices. Oh my gosh. Let's do this. Oh my god. Mmm. A little sour. How is the pickled? Inside you have lots of herbs. Super juicy. So when you bite into it, all the water just bursts out. Mmm. Cha cha on this, right? Yeah, absolutely. The perfect thing to take after a, 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 some hard liquor in the morning. Mm hmm. Mmm. Oh, delicious. I love this stuff. I, really do. I love it. Wow. Big shout out to my friend over there. She didn't even charge me. She's like, no, you eat. Dude, Amazing. I'm just eating for free. It's crazy. This is, this is Georgian hospitality, man. Like, they just, they, they love guests. They love to have people enjoy what they, what they make. So, God bless Georgia. Oh, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. I like it has like a slight fizziness to it. Maloba, hmm? maloba. So, what's next? Well, over here we got some fruits, we got some nuts. Oh, it doesn't end. <laughs> this is bigger. Wow. This entire section is made up of just fruits and vegetables. It never ends, right? Potatoes, tomatoes, watermelon, melon, we got walnuts. Everything is in season right now, basically. Like different kinds of berries, fruits, uh, peaches, apricots. Oh, wow, look at these. Cherries. These are like the tiny ones. Wow. Yeah, what's I this haven't called? Seen those. I forgot what this is called in English. Uh, I'm I'm uh, this is like uh, red currants. Red currants? Red currants, yeah. And that's black currants then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I try one? Joe's here. However many you want, he said. However many I want, my gosh. Mmm. Mmm, my gosh. So they're like tiny grapes, basically. Mm hmm Delicious. Oh. A little sour? Yeah. I like it though. Mm -hmm. Wild blueberries. Wild blueberries. I'm gonna try one. Try some, try some, he says. Mm. Oh, that's good. Wow, oh, those berries. Berries all day. Chuchela. Yeah, give us some. Mm hmm. Mm. Walnuts. Pasty. I love it. I, it's, the important part is it's fresh. Like you can still very chewy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, it's it's best that way. A lot of calories. Mm hmm. Mm. Let's try black currant. Black currant. Let's go. Mm. Yeah, so good. Mm hmm. Black currant. Amazing. So, do the taste again. Sour, but this is more like almost like a blackberry. Maloba. After all these fruits and vegetables, 
I need a category. So we just passed the fruit and vegetable section. Next up, we're going through basically the flea market. Over here, we have a lot of shoes and sandals, like literally a mountain of them. I'm looking actually for another luggage because they gave me so many bottles of wine on this trip that I need a second luggage to take them home. Literally 18 bottles. So far, I still have three full days left, right? So this guy's got like different odds and ends for around the house, around the village. Uh, we've got different like ropes, tools, chains. He said, unfortunately, we can't find any luggage here. We have to go to a different bazaar, so we might have to check that out. It's okay, it's okay. So everything here is for gardening, basically. Yeah. Oh, ho, oh, oh, my love. And over here we have a lot of wood, right? So yeah. different boards. Cutting boards, mortar and pestle. It's like uh, some, also some ropes, some spoons, some kitchen utensils. Eight lorries. Eight lorries. Eight lorries for the fish. I take it. Mm -hmm. I take it. You can, she, said she said it's made out of walnut wood. No way. That's amazing. I'm gonna give this to my wife. She's gonna love it. A little board, you know, a cheese board, basically, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay, eight lari. So less than three dollars for this. What a bargain. Maloba, maloba. So you got some flower sifters, you got a panduri, which is a tradi traditional musical instrument. Looks like there are some like pipes for like smoking, uh, some baskets. So these are cowbells, right? You yeah. put on the cow. Awesome. No more fruits, no more vegetables. I need a kachapuri. Man, we found it. Kachapuri right here. They have a few different versions, right? So they have the kachapuri. I'm sure they have a bean one. They have these, which is like like rolled with hot dogs inside, right? They also have wine. So if you want wine, wow, these are cool bottles. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Yeah. Bread and wine. That's the name of this place. Bread and wine. In the back, you can see them doing all the kachapuri. Amazing. Okay, hello, hello. Hello. Straight. Hello. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're in the back. We're gonna see them put the bread into the Tony. This is my favorite bread in all of Georgia. So good. So they get the dough, they put it, you know, in this shape, right? It's beautiful, like almost like a pyramid shape. Then they put it on the pillow. From there it goes into the Tony. It sits there for like three, four minutes, roughly, you know, five minutes max. And then he covers it, takes the cover off, and then he's gonna pull them all out. Oh, they're gonna be so good. So we're gonna eat this, we're gonna eat a kachapuri, and maybe some chacha. Maloba, maloba. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Maloba, maloba. Let's eat. Let's eat, let's eat. Woo! Okay, let's get some food. I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm starving. Yeah. Well, Man, what did we get here? So we got one kachapuri, one lobiani. So like with the cheese filling and with the bean filling. And this is the kachapuri. Obviously I've eaten kachapuri, I think like 10 times already, but in a different place, different land, different cheese, different water, that makes kachapuri completely different and unique, right? So grab a slice, you know, they cut it almost like a pizza, you know, just give you little slices. My man, let's eat. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Nice and smoking. Mmm. -hmm. Super soft cheese. And this is like the mozzarella cheese, right? Imeruli Quelli, like the cheese specifically from this region, from Imereti. Hopefully I can find a Georgian restaurant in Miami. Let's see. I love it. I mean, we did it. Good stuff, man. The Green Bazaar. Do it from 8 to 10 to 11, walk around, you know, talk with locals, try some food, obviously support the locals, buy some stuff, eat this food. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is a bean filling. Cheese and dough, unreal. Whoa, it's gonna be good. Best one I've had the bean. This one, a little different, right? A little more pasty. Oh, look at that. So I'm guessing like brown beans, right? Or yeah. red beans? I think brown ones. I think these two are my favorites. I don't know about that one. This one for sure the beans. And these ones just came hot out of the oven, so this one is still nice and warm. Yeah, super warm. That one's a little colder, but perfect, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe some wine. Maybe some wine. I didn't try any wine in this area, so maybe I'll have a cup. A wine vendor around here somewhere. Yeah, I think all these guys have wine around here somewhere. <laughs> Everybody has wine. <laughs> wine and cha-cha. Yeah. All locally produced, you know, from their homes. Something really cool about Georgia is they don't really import water. You're not gonna find these huge brands. You're gonna find their local brands. Obviously, they got amazing mountains, glaciers. The water is so fresh. Mm -hmm. 
Oh man, ice cold. Tastes so good. All right, I think we're ready to try some wine. Let's go. Seven lire fifty, so two dollars and fifty cents. That is a bargain. Sweet, sweet. She poured me a huge glass. Gamar Jos. <laughs> it's the same restaurant, right? Bread and wine, but the other side next to where you have the fruit and vegetable vendors. Sweet wine. Semi sweet. Yeah, it's not like a port. It's just oh, it's good. It's good. Mm. Yeah, right. Super cold. Very like, refreshing in the morning. Yeah, ice like chilled to the max. Oh, it's perfect. After all that bread, mm -hmm. I feel great. Mm -hmm. what time is it? 10 a.m. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. So we're in the Imereti region, and here they have uh, different kinds of grapes than the one that grows in the east. So actually, later today, we're going to check out a winery here called Bayo's Wine, where they're specialized in the production of these grapes and these wines. So if you want to try some wine, come here to the bread and wine restaurant right next to the fruit and vegetable section. It was five lati for this huge glass, and that is roughly a dollar fifty, right? Yeah. And that's it, my friends. We explored the Green Bazaar, the most authentic, the oldest bazaar in the smack center of the old town of Kutai. What an experience here. Kutaisi. So cool. Kutaisi, Kutaisi. Awesome, awesome. People are so friendly. You can see cheese vendors, you got butchers, oh, fruits and vegetables, you got wine, you got kachapuri, lots of bread. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Georgia. Let's go.